My favorite part of the play is Minerva Jane Van Allen. She's a real dynamo. No. Um, probably the most difficult part about making the drag a reality is having to work with Minerva Jane. She is an absolute terror. And um, <laughs> I am the hard part, aren't I? This semester, we're working on a play called The Drag, a homosexual comedy by Mae West. In 1927, Mae West wrote this play, dealing with all sorts of issues that were not talked about in the 1920s. Among them, sexuality, gender identity, gay conversion therapy. These were not things that people saw uh, on the stage regularly. The play was closed down in 1927 and never saw a New York premiere. It was closed down for corrupting the morals of America. The Drag is a very unusual play for its time period. It's discussing subject matter that people didn't even discuss behind closed doors. Homosexuality was referred to as the love that dare not speak its name. So people were not comfortable talking about this, even one-on-one, -on -one, much less uh, coming to a theater and see it paraded in front of them. For people who are gonna come and see it, it's gonna put it into perspective the amount of suffering that people have had to go through just to be who they are. And the fact that we're still talking about it in 2020, you know, suggests that time has not moved as quickly as perhaps maybe it should have. Here, take this and get out of here. I don't want your money, Rolly, please. Get out of here. I've had enough of you. In this play, uh, the second act opens to a, a grand drag ball. May intentionally left this part of the script ambiguous. The structure of the second act uh, allowed May's friends in the drag community to perform, which in 1927 was illegal. Men were not allowed to wear dresses. Uh, you were not allowed to express yourself in that way without being arrested. <laughs> All of the acts that the drag queens and the performers bring in are devised. Uh, they're not in the script. It just says they have a party. And so that's what I've come in to do, is to create those acts with the students who are performing them. The first act of the play, there's so little authenticity between the intimacy of the characters, right? But they're, they're fathers and children and, and spouses, and they're playing their roles to the T, and, and they're so inauthentic that when we come to the party scene and we see all these big, hugely made up, like obviously that is fake hair and fake everything on you, and they're so much more authentic, being okay to be your authentic self, um, and presenting that to the world, I think is why this play is very relevant. I think it's an important work, and I'm glad that the world is starting to explore it again in meaningful ways, and, and I think that it's even better that we're doing it in a place like Idaho and a place like Boise State University, where there's been a lot of talk about you know, diversity lately in the news. I mean, the fact that Boise State University is willing to keep plugging along and working towards helping other people is a great thing, and the drag is just more proof of that. So I don't see how it could be viewed as anything but a special, meaningful, and still radical project. <laughs>